Yeah, I suppose a rolling pin could have just rolled away. But I don't think so. Not unless Alex encouraged it. Hey, honey, have you seen the vice grips? Just saw those vice grips yesterday. Break. Uh, check. What's that smell? Can. Do you think that you might have emptied it out before you climbed in it? Why waste a perfectly good piece of chicken? of nature amazing wind rain and gravity nature's fuel for these contraptions get ready because the last car is <laughs> it's out of here all clear isn't that just what i said your brother's smart but he needs to listen better ready everybody and don't forget the five-step rule on your mark get set Buddy, you sure cut to the finish line. Yeah, let's cut him off.
Over. All systems check. I uh, think I got control now. Whoa, give me a sec. Winter's starting to slip off. Must be going faster than I calculated. I better bring this thing back in one piece or my mom will kill me. Alexander Thomas Phillips, this is your mother. You better not be talking about my brand new blender. Whoa, Mom, uh, that you? Uh, sunspots, maybe solar flares, total eclipse, the moon. I'll totally eclipse your moon. You better read me right now, Buster. I want that blender back in one piece. Hope your mom doesn't think about changing channels. Yeah. Well, you'll sure hear me later. Over and over, under, over and off, whatever. Jeez, if this thing's right, I'm going over 40. With this fifth wheel down, it's hard to control. Can't keep it. Better get you hosed off. Sun will bake that gunk in no time, then we'll never get it off. Should have had the umbrella out here. Hey, it was out here yesterday. Well, I'll get the hose. I wonder what he used that for. <laughs> if this racer doesn't kill me, my mom sure will. Ah! Handbrake broke! Pop your shoot, man. Pop your shoot. Check. Deploying shoot. He's gonna shoot us! Too much gravity. You scared me, Alex. I don't think that race is gonna race anymore. Yeah, that's it. Too much gravity. Oh, you guys, you gotta check this out. Awesome. You know, this inventive stuff is from your end of the gene pool. Oh, you mean my deep end as opposed to your shallow end of the pool. <laughs> You know, where you have to wear water wings to stay afloat. Well, this is not genetic. You know, I think maybe you tickled him too much when he was a baby. Now, class, here's the throttle. Here's the brake. Her. Oh, I wasn't. You know you were Alexander Thomas Phillips. 
see you is your whole name, just like Mom does. Your whole name, Alexander Thomas Phillips. How come we've never been here before? How could we have missed it? We got the order down from the main office. She goes to scrap in two days. Can't save them all. It's a shame to cut a perfectly good locomotive. guy I wanted to see. I'm missing some vice grips. Uh, oh, yeah. I borrowed them. But, but listen, Dad. Borrowed being the operative word. Where are they? I left them at this place. I'll go get them. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I think after dinner we'll both go get them. I want to talk to you. Father and son, you know the routine. Scrapyard. Yes. I'm trying to find out some information about the engine in your yard. Well, we have lots of engines in the yard, sir. Oh, yes, of course. I'm interested in the old steam locomotive. Hey, baby. You're a sweet thing. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, sir. Did you hear that? Uh, excuse me. Hear what? Oh, nothing. Bad connection, I guess. Let's see here. Sir, that engine is scheduled to be dismantled. Tomorrow, I believe. No, no, the 28th. That would be, uh, the Saturday. What's the reason? Well, it was scheduled to be donated to the Steam City Museum, but it costs too much to move it there. The museum just doesn't have the money. Now, we can't afford to give it space here, so... No option. Gotta cut it up. Sell the scrap to the highest bidder. How much would it cost to move the train to the museum? Your sweet thing. That bad connection. Sounds like somebody's breaking in. Oh, well. Well, I see. What if someone offered to pay to move it? Don't know. Too late now, anyway. I got the scrap order right here. The only way that engine's getting out of here is by the piece. Well, I would... Give me, give me five. Say, who are you anyway? Radio, R-A-D-O, radio. Is this one of those radio station gags? You're on live with W-I-C-U-P. Why, that's my favorite station. Listen to it all the time. I'm on the radio. I-C-U-P. Have you heard of it? U-P-I-C? No. I see you pee. You know? Is that some kind of French toilet thing? You're all radio, R-A-V-Q, radio. Time for another commercial break. And for all the fans of I see you pee, thanks for watching. Scrap this Saturday. A perfectly good machine. It doesn't make any sense. I gotta figure this out. It's a radio station, I see you pee. Well, Sometimes I worry about you. 
You worry about me. I worry about you. You worry about me. I. You look at you. I look at you. Where are you two going? We're going to get the things that Alex borrowed. Do you have any requests? Well, now that you mention it, there's 18 inches off my broom handle, the blender, oh, and the patio umbrella. Whoops, forgot about that. And then there's the barbecue tongs, the attic fan motor from the old house, oh, and the aquarium. I found the fish alive and well, all right, all floating around in the bathtub. But as long as I live, I will never forget the day I found free-range escargot floating around in my toilet. Ugh. But with that fifth wheel down, Dad, I was going about 40 before I hit the curb. 40? Really? Uh, Alex, you really should remember to ask before you borrow things, okay? No, Dad. Try to do better. That's all we can ask, son, is that you do your best. Why would they scrap the 587? Seems like such a cool thing. It's in great shape, and it looks like you could just drive it right out of the yard. <laughs> Alex, I've been your dad since before you were born, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I know you pretty well. I know the way you think. So promise me you won't just borrow that engine right out of the yard? It seems like such a waste. I can't believe it. <laughs> People are funny. Most of the time, they let the past just rust away. But an engine like that is, well, it's history in 3D. You don't see many of those anymore, son. Huh. You hit that wall going 40 miles an hour? Uh, yeah. And then you shot up that wall and into the air? Yeah. It's a miracle you didn't break every bone in your body. Yeah, I guess so. But the racer didn't do as well. The racer was right here when I left. Maybe the workmen took it. They probably needed a complete set of tools, some wheels, kitchen utensils, a blender. Blender? What on earth did you use that for? Dad, look. Somebody must have dragged it off to that old caboose. I think you're right. Now, it might not be somebody's home, but you should still knock. If not to be polite, then to scare away the rats, snakes, and other miscellaneous creatures that may be afoot. What miscellaneous creatures? Oh, you know, the kind of sleep under your bed at night. Dad, the guy that helped free me from the track. I think he lives here. Let me see that, Alex. Alex, look at this. He was the engineer of the 587? Looks like they tried to find a home for both of them, but nothing worked out. He retired to a scrapyard. The same one as the 587. I bet that engine was all he knew. He just couldn't let it go. Uh, Dad? Oh. Mis oh. Miscellaneous oh. creature! Don't let him see your fear, son. Here, let me try this. I used to watch Lassie when I was a kid. Easy boy. Easy boy. Go get Timmy. Go get Timmy! Oh. Okay. Oh. Maybe not such a good idea after all. Ah. Uh. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be Timmy, uh, growing up, would you? We, we didn't mean to intrude. We were just looking for my son's racer, and, and we followed the tracks in here. And, uh, well, well look, we, we found it. <laughs> well, pieces of it, anyway. <laughs> Relax, mister. You can take your stuff. I just got it here so the others wouldn't take it. Uh... Well, thanks. So, I'll, I'll just be getting the, uh, the broom handle, uh, you know, the, the, the vice grips, the, the blender. Blender. What'd you say you used that for again? 
Did you really drive the 587? Yeah, I'd run her. 30 years. I was one of the first. I was the last to run her. To scrap. Why would they want to tear that engine apart? Because they don't understand. Not the same anymore. People moving fast, never stopping to smell the roses or sip from the ladle alive. Why? That old engine's got spirit. She can still pull a good load. Got a solid boiler, plenty of power. Little bit of me would be lost with every cut of her skin. Why don't you just drive her out of here? That should go all right, but where? We better go, Alex. But, Dad. To get rid of a perfectly good engine. It's hard to slow the wheels of progress, son. Yeah, I know. But the engine, it's a classic. And the old guy, well, he reminds me of... Grampy Thomas? Alex, don't go do something crazy. This isn't your mother's broom handle we're talking about here. I know, Dad. I know how close you were to Grampy. But that old man isn't him, and saving that engine will bring him back. It's just not right. There's not much we can do. The engine and the old man are the end of an era. When the 587 dies, so does he. Like Grampy. I'll be in to see you later, young man. I was afraid of that. And I don't appreciate the broom handle. I think you're in your room for a little while. And no Nintendo. Read. I am trying to find help for an engine. There is a steam engine in perfect working order. In two days, it is going to be cut up. Gone forever. How about a museum? Got a place to take it, but no money to move it there. It would run on its own power, though. Don't know if this helps, but if the track were open, maybe you could drive it there. Me? Drive? Yeah, right. But the old guy, the engineer, could drive her. Talk to Wendy. Her dad works for Railcore. Who is Wendy? I am. Do you really think it can travel under its own power? Yes, that's what the engineer said. So you have a working steam engine. And an engineer to drive it? The old guy at the yard. He's been running the 587 his whole life. I think we need to chat in private. Do you have Cool Talk on your computer? Just downloaded it. Log on when my parents go to bed around 11. I've got an idea. See ya. Mom! Alex, are you still awake? Yeah, I guess so. Can't sleep. Mom, what's that thing about the moment? Where did that come from? I don't know. I, w I was just thinking. Well, Grampy Thomas used to say, never let your fear of the moment keep you from the memory of a lifetime. Yeah, that's it. What's that mean exactly? Well, I think it means to believe in yourself, take chances. It's okay to make mistakes, but don't let your fear of the moment keep you from trying something new. Of course, you should surrender to the fear of the moment next time you think about borrowing something from my kitchen. Yeah, I know. Maybe I should climb onto one of those gravity racers sometime. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that. Remember, speed kills, sweetheart. Aw, Mom! Hey, are you out there? 
Oops, forgot to turn the camera on. There we go. Alex, I think we can do this. Most of the track switches are controlled by computer these days, and I'm pretty sure I can hack into Railcourse computers. And besides, I looked at my dad's track slips for the weekend. The lines are mostly clear all the way to the Steam City Museum. Are you saying I should drive the 587 to the museum? I'm just a kid. I can't do that. No, not by yourself. You could get the engineer to help. He could drive the train to the museum. You could help him. And I could keep you both up on track from my computer by accessing the switches and getting clearance. The way to do this is to take the branch lines across the main line and park the 587 at the front door of the museum. How could they say no? I'd have to convince that old guy to drive it. And that might be impossible. And besides, getting on the main line... Isn't that sort of dangerous? Not if I get the switches. Could you do that? Yes, I can. Are you interested? I guess it's worth a try. Let me get back to you after I talk to the old guy at the yard. Wish me luck. Me and the 587. Old man. Right here, son. Don't you know it's dangerous here at night? What do you want? We might have a plan. A plan? Plan for what? A way to save the 587. But I need your help. What could I possibly do? If you're starting a collection, I don't have much. Anyway, you're out of time. Not money. We need you. You can drive it, right? Yeah, nobody knows that old engine better than me. What are you getting at? It's like this. If the siding out in the yard is still good, I think we can get clear track all the way to the Steam City Museum. Once there, we can... You're talking about the impossible. Yeah, if I try this by myself. You're right. It's impossible. But with you, I think we can make it. Your heart's in the right place, boy, but it's a lost cause. You just better run on home now. You're the only one who can help us. I'm sorry, son. Just run along. Okay, then, mister. You don't have to drive, then. Just show me and my brother how. We can handle that thing. Jeez, Molly, where'd you come from? You trying to give me a heart attack, little miss? Now, both of you kids, just get on home now. As far as you kids trying to move that engine, why don't you even think about it? Why? get hurt or even kill if you tried to move her. 587's my heart and soul. Then you can't let her get cut up like that. You can't let her die. Help us. Help the 587. Sir, uh, Russell, please. I know this means a lot to you. Well, now, if the 587 was to go anywhere, it'd need fuel and water and plenty of each and a strong fireman to keep the boiler fire. I can help with the fire. I'm not allowed to play with matches, but I can help with the water. <laughs> oh, you're taking an awful lot of work. There's not much time. No, oh, you're just kids. Both of you going home now. I need some time to myself. If you let the 587 get cut up, that's all you'll have. Time to yourself. Seems like the past is just slipping away. Kids and their silly ideas move that engine.
check it out. Hey, I brought all the stuff I was assigned to get. Everyone else forget theirs? No, Bonehead. Everybody else remembers we're supposed to bring our stuff tomorrow. Now we'll just see if it'll roll. Oh. Now I remember. So even if we do get this ready to roll, who's gonna roll it? Well, we hope the old guy from the scrapyard. He's an engineer. He could do it. But our backup plan is we drive it. Me and Molly have been reading a lot of books lately. And we even found a movie that shows you how to run it. So we were thinking, you guys can't drive this thing. You'll kill yourselves. Or kill someone else. Oh, I'm sure we could drive it. No offense, Molly, but you can hardly drive your Barbie car, let alone this train. on my international charm, you know. Fire, then steam, wood, coal, anything that'll burn. Well, then what do we do when we reach that? Ben and Emily will have to throw the switch when we get the engine up and running. Once past the switch, Wendy will hack into real core computers and get us switch clearances. Here's a printout of the lines. Oh, so some cyber chick's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> So, sir, you can really drive this thing? If anybody can do it, he can. Is that so? You know anything about trains like this? Well, first of all, little missy, this ain't a train, it's an engine. Yeah, I know a thing or two about her. I was her master engineer. Run this fine lady for 30 years. She may look tough, and she can be, but she's really a delicate piece of equipment. It takes real teamwork, a good crew, not to mention a lot of luck to handle an engine like this. So you can really do it? We'll never know if we don't get that tender filled with wood and the boiler filled with water. You mean you'll help us? Well, I've been thinking. I just can't imagine life without this old girl. So what do you say? Let's get going. Yes! <laughs> There's a wood pile on the other side of the yard. Now, you're going to have to smuggle it over here an arm load at a time. If you want to save this old girl, it's going to be tough. And tougher still, because you're going to have to do it without getting caught. And where are you going to be while we're off doing all the work? Well, Missy, I'm going to start by snaking a hose along the rail, under the engine, and up into the boiler, hopefully without being noticed, and try to fill it. We're crazy to think that we can run this old train by ourselves. We could get in some really big trouble here. Besides, if this thing is turned into scrap, it'll be turned into something new. Something useful. Yeah, like slinkies. You know, the metal kind. Never could get mine to go down the stairs, though. The 587's not going to get turned into a slinky as long as I have something to do with it. If you're out, that's okay. But if you're in, we have lots of work to do. So let's get to it. Yeah, we have lots of work to do. And we are not making the slinkies here. I'm in. Yeah, me too. I'm in. But I just wanted to be sure that that old guy was not floating somewhere while we were doing all the work. Personally, I prefer the plastic slinkies. They come in colors, you know. Did I forget something? Me? Ah, my cell phone's probably my briefcase. Look, I left the number in the house. I'm at the Atlanta Hyatt. Better go, you'll be late. <sighs> we'll have some time at Thanksgiving. We'll get away then. Seems like I've heard that before. <laughs>
kids are all right in my book. If by any miracle this old girl makes it, she's got you to thank for it. Well, you better get on home and get some rest. Busy time ahead. You okay, Russell? I'm all right. I just need some rest. Stoke my boiler. You run along home. I'll see you later. You take care, Russell. I'm counting on you. Laptop. I, I had it yesterday. Oh yeah. I wonder what he used that for. It's all set. We plan to fire up the engine tonight. We're gonna need the switches to the museum and clearance right through the main line. Right! And you need to email me all the track branch lines to the museum. You got it. You're really gonna do it, aren't you, Alex? You're really gonna do it. We all are, together. See something. Copy of the work order to send this old girl to scrap. Fireman, open the firebox. So when we start to move, that's when you throw the switch. How will we know when you're ready? Oh, you'll know all right. Okay, let's go. Good luck, sir. You too, Missy. Watch yourself out there. When you throw that switch, you get back away from the track. And if you can't throw that switch, you get way back. Emily! Later. Later, bonehead. Oh, she's looking good now, son. It's like she knows we're trying to save her. She's trying to give us her best. About time to move on down the line. Just one more thing. It'll only take a second.
It's a revolve. Kansas City, here we come. <laughs> It's like this. I see you here. You never did. I forget it. Molly, come here, man. Let's help this old girl give a cheer, huh? Yes. What the? Hey, that thing's moving. It's not supposed to do that. See, that's it's a dog driving that thing. I see it, but I don't believe it. You better call it in. Me call it in? You saw it first. You call it in. I'm the boss. You're the peon. You call it in. You call it in. Come on, Ben. We gotta hurry. Come on, Ben. Push harder. Oh. Yes, officer, stealing a steam engine. Right, it's a big shaggy dog. No, officer, I have not been drinking. Did you hear that? Yeah, they won't make it. The last switch in the yard is rusted shut, they'll never get it open. When the engine hits that, it'll derail. Come on, come on, we need that switch! Switch to the old main line. Well, I'll be. It's free! Ah! Yes! Where we left the scrapyard. That's a half mile down and just a couple hundred more miles to go. Switches to the branch line next. Yeah, okay. Uh, the branch line. Right. I'll log on to the control and do it now. I'll contact you in 10 minutes. Okay. Alex? Yeah? Be careful. I applied for the force two years ago. SWAT team. I guess the force wasn't with you, Luke. Uh, no, the name's not Luke, it's... Uh, Oh, I get it. <laughs> Thanks for the search warrant. Tell me again what you saw here. All I saw was this dog. Real smart, if you ask me. At first, I thought it looked like a goat or a sheep. But then I said to myself, come on, a goat or a sheep couldn't possibly operate a steam locomotive. So I thought again about what I had seen. And I knew it was a dog. A big, shaggy dog. Yeah, that's what it was. Unless it was a small circus bear. I saw a circus bear once that could drive a motor scooter. So I suppose just maybe a bear could steal a train. But I where it was a dog, a big, shaggy dog. I thought you'd like to see this, detective. Get off the 422. Where, and go where? On an old spur line right here. Well, now, the last time I was through there, that line was closed. It's open, just been retied. Oh, this little lady's all right. <laughs> well, I can take the Willow Express to the uh, junction near Bradston. But you remember, little lady, you keep us off the main line. Yes, sir. And it looks clear all the way. Um, how do you know about the Willow Express? That was my old line.
Who can that be at this hour? Miss Phillips? Yeah? Police Detective Cash. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Recognize the handwriting? We have reason to believe that a former engineer, your son and your daughter, and about every kid in the neighborhood stole a train from the scrapyard about two hours ago. Now, we assume they're all right, but they are involved in a train robbery. A train robbery? What in the world are you talking about? My daughter isn't even out of training wheels yet. How could she... Alex, you're in for it now. Now, what do you think they used that engine for? about the tenth time I've topped you off. And you were already in here when I came on ship. Well, I've been in this airport since, so oh, about uh, 4.30 this morning. Yes, sir. I've got another uh, oh, 75 minutes to kill. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to take an early flight out, but, uh, you know, they kept delaying it. Finally, they just canceled it. Some kind of trouble with the airplane, I, I don't know. Well, you keep on drinking this coffee, and you'll be able to fly yourself out of here without a plane. Right, right about that. <laughs> Oh, I'm probably right about a lot of things, but, but I'm not cutting you off. I'll keep you topped off till you're ready for takeoff. One way or the other. Early this morning, a Centerville scrapyard worker, Russell Stockman, stole an old steam locomotive. He's still at large and presumed to be chugging along a stretch of track somewhere, the location of which authorities have yet to determine. Police suspect that Mr. Stockman has two young partners in crime, Alexander Thomas Phillips, age 11, and Molly Elizabeth Phillips, age eight, have been missing from their home since early this morning and are presumed to be on the hijacked engine. According to sources, the old steam locomotive number 587 was scheduled to be scrapped today. Authorities believe this apparent train robbery is a last minute effort to save the old engine. <laughs> I must have left my cell phone at home. Where's the phone? Calm down, hon. Told you to ease up on the job. Ups. There's the phone right over there. <sighs> Thanks. Deb, it's me, honey. Pick up, honey, it's me. Jim, where are you? I need you here. The kids... I just saw the news report. Do you know anything else? They've stolen a train and they've run away and... The police don't know where they are yet and it's a zoo here. My early flight was canceled, but I'll be getting on the plane right away. I'll be home soon. There's reporters all over the front lawn. This is too much. I need you here. And I want my babies back. There's a place that we all go, not too far from here. Down by the river. Friends all seem to gather there to touch that spirit world. Down by the river. Be careful there, son. Look over there. I know there was support here years ago when I made this run. Oh, 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 oh. Now you be careful, don't you fall there. You see anything? There hasn't been anything here in a hundred years. Oh, I know there was a water port here years ago when I made this run. Hey, how old are you anyway? Well, I'm old enough to know that it takes steam to run an engine and water to make steam, and we ain't got no water. So we're gonna have to set this boiler down. There's nothing here. No water, not a single drop. Hi, my name's Molly. Don't be afraid, old Sparky here. 
He won't bite. Can you help us get some water? Water, no steam, no steam, no power, no power. Well, you get the picture. We can't give up. There's got to be a way. Look, Alec, over there. Well, would you look at that? But I'm afraid it's going to take more than a few buckets of water to fill this engine, little lady. Well, your heart's in the right place. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Bucket Brigade at your service. <laughs> oh, the ladle of life. Real Corps, John Schaefer's office. May I help you? Yes, this is Miss Winston over in control. Could you ask John to please come over? We need his help. Yes, of course. I'll relay your message right away. I got you. Thank you. Here's the latest on 587. We're still not sure where it is. And I just got a call and they need you over at the main office right away. And John, if it gets on the main line. I know. I just hope we can find it in time. Thanks, Susan. Well, I guess I better get over there. Wild Goose Chase Daddy, but I need to know about the last switch before the main line. I'm saving the 587. This should help. Begin download. Thanks. We couldn't have made it without you. Throttle up. 70 miles an hour for the next 120 miles. We will advise you of any changes. Okay, roger that. 203 eastbound. Okay. Molly, 
Molly. Molly, where are you? God, I've been so worried. Are you alright? Yeah, Mom, we're okay. Just miss you is all. Where are you? On a train. I want to talk to your brother. She wants to talk to you. Uh, hi, Mom. What do you mean, hi, Mom? Alexander Thomas Phillips. You get off that train right now. Mom, the train is moving. If we got off right now, we'd probably end up as railroad pizza. And if by some miracle we survived, we'd be stranded in the middle of nowhere. We're fine right now, Mom. And besides, don't you always tell us to believe in ourselves and to always do what's right? Alex, I'm worried about you and your sister. Mom! Mom! Alex? Alex, can you hear me? Alex? I didn't get to say I love you. Hey, what's up? Well, not much. Didn't you call? Why would I call you? Well, somebody called me. has swept the nation. This unlikely trio is building quite a following. Let's go to our reporter standing by. Yolanda? We're standing in the very scrapyard where the 587 steam engine was destined to spend its last days until it disappeared. And next to me is Detective Cash, the man in charge of the investigation. Detective Cash, is there any truth to the rumor that the 587 steam engine is heading toward a museum? We're checking into that. I'm waiting for the satellite photos to be relayed back to me to verify that. And what happens if the steam engine isn't found? Could the children aboard be in any danger? Rail is letting most of the traffic through, but it could get dangerous. I hope we find them real soon. As we all do. Thank you, Detective Cash. And that is the latest on the 587, and what we are referring to is the great train robbery. We will continue to update you as we receive information. I'm Yolanda Baker. Oh, God, I have to warn them. Mom! This must be the switch and take right here. Well, that just... That just doesn't seem right. Dad, we have to help them! I'm the one! They're in trouble! Wait a minute. Calm down. What, what are you doing here? The 587. I lost contact with them. They're in danger. What are you talking about? 587. Alex, Molly, the old man. I lost contact with them. I can't warn them now. They're in danger. Dad, what have I done? Okay. Tell me where they were last, and we'll see if we can help them, okay? Can you throw the switch from here?
Chief. Chief, we might have something on track 162. Got a red light. Definite conflict with the 203 eastbound. Give us a close-up. Let's see what we got. Right here. You've got a possible head-on collision. It's the 587. Westbound 203, come in. Emergency. Emergency. Can't seem to reach him. It'll take at least two miles for that train to stop at the speed it's going. Chief, phone call from Debbie Phillips. She says the kids have a cell phone. Got a number? Right here. Call it. Patch it through to me. John Schaefer, head of operation. You've got to get off that engine now. We've lost contact with the 203 westbound. He's headed right for you. Even if we could reach him, he, he can't stop now. He's tracking over 70 miles an hour. What about a branch slider sliding ahead of me? Uh, yeah, right here, about a quarter mile ahead, but you'll never make it. But if I don't try, someone's going to get hurt or maybe killed. And besides, I can't leave the fire. Okay, um, look here. Is, is that switch still wired to us here? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Okay, okay, against my better judgment, we're gonna try this. Get the kids off the engine, put that thing in high gear, and pray that you make it. Get stuck off here. Gotten off with the kids, Sparky. Five eighty seven, come in. Five eighty seven, come in, please. This is the five eighty seven. Okay, okay, look. You've got to give us a visual when you get to the switch. We'll have to send the signal to the switch at just the right time. So keep that phone line open. Oh, and, and, and one more thing. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Come on, come on, we need more speed. I can see the switch. Switch. Bad electronics. Hey, it's all clear. They made it. <laughs> 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 yeah! Hello, this is the 587. That'll do, 587. That'll do. 587, you have clearance all the way to Steam City Museum. That was too close for these old bones. Too close for these young bones, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Steam City Museum, may I help you? Yes, I, I'd like to speak to someone about delivering a, a package to the museum. I have a rather large package uh, that I'd like to deliver to you uh, by rail, if that's possible. Why, yes. We accept packages every day from trains. That's perfect. You need a doctor. Oh. Worry about me, Alex. I'll be all right. I'll just get this old girl home. Come on, Alex. Now, this is the break. This is the throttle. I think I got it. I'm sorry, Alex, but I gotta rest right here. Unless you see something on that track, Alex, don't you stop until we get to the museum. We're all gonna make it. You can count on it. Just hold on. I don't understand why don't make it really hard, good with endless dreams. It means so much to me. It means so much to me. I don't understand what makes it so hard to be what you want to be. What's it gonna be? It could be easy for me. Pretty looking well, breaking through, breaking through. Pretty looking well, breaking through, breaking through. How about letting her know we're home, Alex? Russell Stockman for robbery, kidnapping, transporting goods across state lines. I should lock you up. But first, let me thank you and welcome you to the Steam City Museum. <laughs> tries to get you involved in another crazy scheme, call 911. You got it? Yeah, Dad. I got it. 911. Now that's effective parenting. Hey, Dad! Look at that old boat. It's beautiful. You don't think they're really gonna scrap her, do you? Alex! 